What's up y'all, Dustin Jones here with Stronger Life Fitness. I'm joined by Adrian Allen. Y'all may know her from the track, a very, very fast individual competing in track and field. Uh, we are going to talk about essential exercises to build strength. This is a series with the National Senior Games Association that we want to give you a few very potent and powerful exercises that anybody can use to build strength. Uh, it's very essential for someone like Adrian, who's very competitive uh, in track and field, but also someone that may be looking to get into some type of competitive sport. These three exercises are going to build a great foundation of strength for you. So the first one we're going to go over is called the deadlift. Now when you hear the term deadlift, yeah, it can be kind of a scary term. All it means is we're picking something up off the ground. We're picking dead weight up off the ground. So we're gonna work through uh, some progressions that you all can try at home or in the gym uh, that can get you to a point where you're lifting some pretty heavy weight off the ground. So the first one we're going to do is a dowel rod hip hinge. So Adrian's gonna hold this on her back and she's going to try and keep a point of contact on her head, her mid back, and her sacrum uh, as well, or the backside here. Now, for some, some of you all, it may be tough to keep the head uh, touching the PVC pipe, so you may end up trying to look up. Don't worry about that. Just focus on the mid-back and the sacrum. What she's going to do is think of shutting the car door, shifting your butt back, and then standing up tall. So shift your butt back, and then coming up tall. You see she's bending her knees, and that's what we want. We don't want the knees to shoot too far forward. They're bending, but she's really focusing on shifting your weight back. All right, good job. So I'll take that. Now, if you're having a tough time shifting your weight back, you may want something like a target. So this is where you can go up against something like a wall, stand, you know, maybe a foot, foot and a half, something like that, to where you're doing that same movement, but you're trying to touch your butt to the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and shift our weight back, and then she's going until she feels that cue. And she's doing a great job there. Now, some people really have a tough time not letting their knees shoot forward. What we can do there is maybe put them in a position where they have no choice but to shift their weight back. So we would come up, uh, feet are about shoulder width apart, about an inch away from this bench. You can use a chair at home as well. And what you're gonna do is that same movement, but you're not letting your knees touch the bench. Yeah, you can have your hands out like this. You can put your hands uh, in between your legs as well. So we've got the movement going. She's doing this great. Now let's start to add a little bit of weight. A kettlebell is a great weight that you can use. However, a lot of lighter weights are relatively short. So what we may want to do is elevate that weight. So what Adrian's gonna do is stand like this to where the handle of the kettlebell is right in between the inside of her ankles, that ankle bone right there. So she's gonna set up like this, grab the weight, stand up and put it right back where she got it. All right, so go ahead and do a rep there. And this is great to do to elevate this weight uh, when you're starting to get the hang of this. And as you're able to go heavier or you're able to go lower, uh, then you can go to the ground. Awesome, good work there. All right, so now we're to the ground. This is a 35 pound kettlebell. You notice it's a little taller than that kettlebell. It's gonna be a little easier to pick up off the ground. Same thing, the handle is going right in between the ankle bones. So let's go ahead and do a couple reps there. And she's maintaining all those points of performance that we talked about before. Her back's nice and straight. She's shifting her weight back doing a good job there. All right, awesome. So, kettlebells are great. You can get pretty heavy with a kettlebell. Uh, some of you all may just stick to using kettlebells with the deadlift and that's perfectly fine. However, a barbell, uh, you can really load it up. You can put a lot of weight on these barbells that can be very helpful. Now, when you're starting to use a barbell, uh, you may be using plates like this. This is a five pound plate. Uh, they're not that big. And so if I were to try and lift this up from the ground, it's, it's pretty low. So what you may need to do, and a lot of gyms will have these, is uh, these are PVC, but basically uh, a, a pair of parallettes to elevate that barbell. So Adrian's gonna come up, get her shins right up against the bar, and do that same movement. Your hands are gonna be on the outside of your legs. And then you'll stand and pick it up. Elbows stay straight with this one. Good. Same principles apply, it's just a different weight. <clears throat> Awesome, good work. Okay, she's crushing that. Now let's go to the big dog here. So we have a barbell. These are 15 pound plates or bumper plates. So 10, 15, 25, 35, 45 pound uh, bumper plates are gonna be uh, roughly this size. The bar, as you can see, is a little higher off the ground uh, than this. And this is where uh, she can do a conventional deadlift and you can really load this up and get super strong. So go ahead and do a couple reps here. <clears throat> Same setup, her hands are on the outside of her legs. She's 
She shifted her weight posteriorly and she picks it up off the ground. So that is a deadlift. We worked our way from the PVC pipe, showed you some options that you can do. Kettlebells are great. A barbell is really great as well that you can really, uh, really dial in uh, that form, but also really load it up and get super strong.